Hi. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Today, I want to discuss about important, very short answer questions and problems in motion in a plane. So, let us start first question. Vertical component of a vector is equal to horizontal component. Then find theta, that is angle between them. So, we have answer for the first question is we have to find out theta. Theta is equal to how much? So, vertical component vertical component vertical component is equal to we can write it as a sin theta if the vector is a and the horizontal component is equal to a cos theta. So here these two are equal that is a sin theta is equal to a cos theta. So cancel it. So sin theta by cos theta is equal to tan theta which is equal to 1. So tan theta is equal to 1 theta is equal to 45 degrees. So answer is nothing but it is equal to 45 degrees. Now this is the answer for the first question. Now we have the second one. In the second question he says that A bar is equal to I bar plus J bar. What is the angle made with the x axis. So we have to find out the angle made with the x axis. So second question we have vector given vector is a bar is equal to i bar plus j bar. We know that uh, tan theta is equal to a y by a x. So a y is 1. a x is 1. So tan theta is equal to 1. So implies theta is equal to 45 degrees. Here also we will get the answer as what is that? It is equal to 45 degrees. So that is the second question we have. Next uh, we have the third one. He has given two forces P bar is equal to 3 units, Q bar is equal to 5 units theta is equal to 60 degrees. Find what he asked is uh, to find out the R value. So we can write uh, P bar is equal to 3 units. Third one. P bar is equal to 3. Q bar is equal to 5. Theta is equal to 60 degrees. We have the parallelogram law of vectors. R is equal to root of p square plus q square plus 2p q cos theta. So now we can say that root of 3 square plus 5 square plus 2 into 3 into 5 into cos 60. Cos 60 is 1 by 2. So cancel 2 here. So 9 plus 25 plus 50, 15 plus 25, 40, 40 plus 9, 49. So root 49 means 7. So its value will be equal to how many units? 7 units we have. So that is the third problem. And uh, now we go for the fourth one. So here also he says that P bar is equal to 7 units. Fourth problem. P bar is equal to 7 units. Q bar is equal to 24 units. 
theta is equal to 90 degrees. So we have to find the r. So again, r is equal to root of p square plus q square plus 2pq cos theta. So now, we can say that root of p square means 7 square plus 24 square plus 2 into 7 into 24 cos 90. Cos 90 is 0. So here we have root 7 square 49 and 24 square 4, 4, 16, 4, 2, 8, 9. 8, 8 and 4, 6, 576. So plus 576 plus 0. So this is 625. So root 625 means 25. So R will be how many units? This will be equal to 25 units there. So we have the next uh, fifth one. He says in the fifth question, that is, what is the acceleration of projectile at the top of its trajectory? Mm -hmm. So, so at the top of the trajectory, we have the projectile like this. So, at the top of its trajectory, the acceleration will be equal to acceleration due to gravity. So, therefore, the answer will be equal to that is, it will be equal to g or acceleration due to gravity. So, thank you for watching my video. Please do subscribe Physics DSR.